Welcome to Science Easy Tech Channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about uh, needs which comes under the unit motivational and emotional processes. Uh, so this is from chapter 4 for BSc nursing students. This video will also be useful for post basic BSc nursing students, BH students as well as students who are studying general psychology. Before moving on to the topic, if you are new to Science Easy Tech channel, just take a moment to subscribe our channel and also to press the notification bell icon in order to get connected with our latest updates. Let's move on to the topic. The content what we are going to discuss in this unit 4 that is uh, motivation and emotional processes part 1 is needs. What are needs? Needs are nothing but they are general wants or desires and are said to be the very basis of our behavior. So needs are they are general wants or desires. These needs form the basis of our behavior. Our behavior and feelings about ourselves and others, our values, priorities, everything what we set for ourselves all relate to our physiological and psychological needs so here the physiological needs are nothing but the biological needs and the psychological needs so you have two types of needs one is biological needs and the next one is psychosocial needs so let us see first the biological needs so for the survival of the individual these biological needs are very 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 important they are unlearned needs so there is no need to teach you how to be, become hungry, how to get thirst and all. You yourself by inborn, you will be learning all these things. When a child gets hungry also, it cries. No one teaches. So hungry will be like this. When you are getting hungry, you have to cry or you have to ask for food like that. No one teaches. So it is biological instinct what everyone used to have. So the biological needs are very much essential for the survival of the individual. So what are these biological needs are? Need for oxygen or air food water temperature rest and sleep and sex so these are very important for maintaining a basic life oxygen water without oxygen imagine we cannot survive okay each cell in our body needs oxygen so and water is also essential food is essential for our body without water without food and all no we cannot survive for a long period of time so deprivation of all these things leads to what leads to death of an individual Okay, so temperature, rest and sleep. Yes, of course, the normal temperature is very, very important. The normal body temperature is 98.6 degree Fahrenheit or 37 degree centigrade. So, this is our Celsius. So, this is very, very important for the basic functioning of the body. Okay, so rest and sleep. Why rest and sleep is very, very important? So, you think oh, continuously you are working, you will become very tired. If your mind and your body should be active, means you should need adequate rest and sleep so without rest and sleep no if you are going on continuously working your stamina your energy will get down and you will not be able to concentrate properly and your energy also will be draining so adequately rest is very very important sleep is very very important that's why we are getting weekends see even if you are working for six days one day we are getting a break okay and similarly sleep sleep at least minimum uh, um, 8 hours sleep is necessary they are telling so you have to plan accordingly sex see without sex also we can survive but uh, sex is uh, without sex uh, we are not going to die but this sex is very important uh, for the basic functioning of the individual and also this sex helps uh, in order to uh, in order to have a progeny our progeny okay so uh, without uh, sex no you cannot uh, give birth to the uh, younger ones of your own uh, kind so for reproduction purpose for progeny purpose as well as for maintaining a normal satisfactory lifestyle you need to have this sex which is also a basic desire 
psychosocial needs so the psychosocial needs are acquired through social learning and contact with others so this psychosocial needs are acquired through social learning by having mingling with others by having a good rapport with others and by interacting with others you will be having this psychosocial needs so these are linked with socio cultural environment and psychological makeup of an individual so your socio cultural environment your psychology everything decides this psychosocial needs so you you can tell these as secondary needs as biological needs we have told as unlearned needs so our primary needs so this is our secondary needs so when the biological needs are satisfied then you will be going for all these things so these needs the psychosocial needs are your freedom or autonomy then security that is safety and security love and affection recognition and social approval social company self assertion and self actualization so freedom security love and affection um, recognition uh, social approval social company self assertion and self actualization all human beings have an urge to remain free and independent so everyone has the right to have autonomy or freedom and to be independent the right to freedom is very very important for any individual then you should have a secured environment which will be protecting you from any harm so a, a proper home okay economic security financial security safety okay a shelter is very very important so next is security next uh, safety and security shelter safety and security also includes trusting others you will support family members are there means you will be free from fear anxiety and uh, extreme restlessness that is apprehension and all next to love and belongings love and belongings are very 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 important okay so here um, the love what you are going to get from your family members from your peer group that is friends neighborhood and a community is also very important for a person to know order to develop fully potential next is people who believe that their love and belongings needs are unmet they are they will be feeling very idle lonely and isolated so if they are not getting adequate love and affection from the family members or peers or friends and all they will be isolated or they will be idle so each one of us has an inherent inherent means inborn desire to gain recognition and appreciation from others suppose if some people are appreciating us we will be feeling very happy if some people are criticizing us or teasing us definitely we will be feeling unhappy so everyone has the desire to get appreciation from others or recognition for what you are doing you have to get recognition that everyone is a basic human tendency so man is called the social animal he cannot live in idle so he will be constantly interacting with others from the time of his birth to his death if he is going to be alone uh, an idle mind is a devil's workshop so it is going to lead up with some psychological problems so uh, he has to maintain a good social interaction or relationship with others every one of us has an inherent desire to get an opportunity to rule or dominate over others so everyone they have an instant desire Um, to be dominant or to control others to rule over others in some situation not not in all the situation maybe in some situation or other you you have a uh, leadership capacity or dominancy or you have to control others that you will be thinking okay so we all have an inherent craving for the expression of ourselves so we like to express ourselves so we, sh- we by being what uh, self actualization to bring out our own potentiality or abilities or what we can do we have to bring out our own talents like that and all everyone exhibit our talents everyone will be having this desire so my next video will be on drives so till now we have seen needs so under needs what we have seen we have seen so much things that is your biological needs and psychological needs psychosocial needs all these needs no they have explained in maslow's hierarchy of needs so the hierarchy starts from basic needs physiological needs and the top most is your self actualization so that only we have seen till now
so my next video as i have told it will be on drives hope this video is clear for you all if you like my video please give me a thumbs up share and subscribe to science easy tech channel my previous videos link i have given in description box as well as suggested end card and i card or you can watch our channel playlist for more nursing and related videos thank you friends keep supporting to science easy tech channel